the turn of the century, a very famous magician named Willard the Wizard toured the southern part of the United States in his own tent show. And in that show, he featured the spirit cabinet, which was, was to become a classic of magic. In early years, the medium was his wife, Joy. She died in 1953, and then he trained his daughter in mediumship, Frances Willard. Francis brings with her some cotton cloth, uh, and I'm going to give each of you gentlemen a piece of cloth. There's a piece for you, sir, uh, and here's a piece for you. And now, Francis, would you please put out your wrists? I'll take your piece of cloth, and would you do as I do on the other side, please? Just bring the cotton cloth up and make two knots, if you will. And would you make the knots for me, please? Yes, just uh, make two knots and make them nice and tight. All right, a little tighter than that. Yeah, don't be afraid of cutting off circulation. All right, good. All right, let me just pull that for you. Very good. All right, now behind your back, please, Francis. Now, would you step over here, please? And would you just watch over my shoulder? I'm going to make two more knots. Again, as tight as the knots that you made. All right, let me make a locking knot onto this. And now, I'd like a piece long enough so that we may nail this uh, to the board a little bit later on. We'll take this about like that and put a, a knot right about there. All right, let's put one more around her neck. And I'd like you, sir, to make two knots. Yes, right there, but not quite as tight as you made the first knot, all right? <laughs> uh, and make a locking knot on it, please. All right, you can make that tight. I don't want her to be able to slip it over her head, but I do want her to breathe. All right, that's fine. And now, Francis, would you please uh, step inside of the cabinet, please? And I'll ask our gentleman friends to walk around the rear uh, of the cabinet, because in this bucket, you'll find some hammers and some nails. And I'd like each of you to take a hammer, please, uh, and, uh, and some nails, okay? Uh, and uh, put some nails uh, in uh, the cotton cloth. Please put a piece, uh, a nail here, a nail here, uh, and would you, sir, uh, put a nail over on this side? Now, we do have a camera from the back so that they can watch you nail, putting nails in. All right, good. And all the way in, please. And a nail over here. Very good. Put lots of nails in. Good. And a nail over on this side, please. All right. Make sure there is no way that she can escape so that the camera in the back can see. All right, that's fine. Uh, you just put the hammers and nails back. Let's just put them on the floor. All right, now, on the stage, we have two chairs, and I'm going to ask our gentleman to sit uh, on those chairs. Just sit right down. You'll notice those chairs are strategically placed uh, so that you can see that no one either enters or leaves that cabinet, especially from the rear. And now, it will be necessary to mesmerize the lady. Francis, I want you to sleep. Your eyes are getting heavy. They're getting heavy. I want you to sleep. Good. Into the cabinet, I'm going to place some objects, some bells, some tambourines. Good. And now, let me pull down the curtain. And I'd like you to watch closely. Because many people say that they see spirits at the top of the cabinet. Let's see if we can make some spirit contact. Spirits, are you there? Watch the top of the cabinet. Gentlemen, walk in that cabinet, please. Just walk right in, very quickly. Walk right in. Make sure that she's still tied, still nailed to the board, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking perhaps there is some way for Frances to make these manifestations herself. It's not so, and I'm going to prove it, because I'm going to ask one of these gentlemen to sit in that cabinet and hold the lady. <laughs> no, 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 not you, 
Yes, sir. Would you like to sit in that cabinet? Okay, good. Let me take this chair, place the chair right inside. All right? Now, sit right in and face the back wall, please. All right. Now, to make sure that Francis is not moving or making any motion at all, I'd like you to take your right hand and put it on the lady's head, please. Nice and firmly. Her left hand now on the lady's... Wait a minute. This might be a little better. All right, good. Are you nervous? A little bit. I don't blame him. Uh, I'd better blindfold him, you know? If he were to see something and it were to frighten him, he just might hurt himself running from that cabinet. All right, let me just place this around your eyes. Very good. Okay, now, let's see if we can make some spirit contact. Spirits, are you there? <laughs> My goodness. All right, let me just... <laughs> let me just <laughs> Okay, can I... May I borrow your jacket? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Let's pull this down. Okay, and we'll pull this right out of the way. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Now, watch this. Spirits, take the coat. Be quick. You're going to see something you're not going to believe. Gentlemen, would you walk in that cabinet, please? Check the jacket. Go walk right in. Make sure you can't get that jacket off. No way possible. Make sure the wrists are still tied, still nailed to the board. Neck tied, nailed to the board, are they? Thank you very much, gentlemen. Take your seat, please. Now, watch this. Spirits, take that coat. Be quick. Here we go. Up. Ladies and gentlemen, Francis Willie. Walk right in there, Jack. Walk right in. Good. Okay. Let me just lift this up all the way around. Make sure that she's still tied, still nailed to the board. All right, check those hands thoroughly. I'm going to cut her free right here. Let's just snip this, all right, and snip this side. Now look at the neck. See, the neck is still tied. Still nailed. Let me just snip this away. Good. Now, would you stand on this side? Would you, sir, stand on this side? Because I'm going to count three, uh, and we're going to wake Francis up. Francis, one, two, wake up, please. Good. There you are. Ladies and gentlemen, Francis Williams. <laughs> 